Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather and it's 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 3rd of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and East Jeff Ensembles. Maybe I'm trying a couple of weeks. Well, I'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us into the second half of June. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just to say, it's been a very busy day. Daz will be today for released three videos. One uh, bonus, we'll about that in a second, but we started off with 6M UK weather forecast. We also released the XM USA forecast, and then we had a look at the JMA season model in terms of summer 2023. And of course, that is ahead of weekend development, so on Saturday we'll be releasing the uh, third and final summer 2023 season one roundup and then on Sunday we will be releasing the Gaz Weather's summer forecast as well. So uh, epic weekend of content. Of course I will be live streaming for three hours on Saturday evening as well. More about that in a second but yeah a lot of uh, content to come and a lot of content today so please like share subscribe on all of the videos thank you so much everybody for doing that now the charity appeal is halfway through we are raising money for rainbows hospice they provide vital care for children and young people suffering from life limiting and terminal conditions in the east Britain's region they're based in Loughborough that they cover Leicestershire where Loughborough is of course Northamptonshire etc etc so they are like my local children's hospice and uh, we're raising money for them it costs six and a half million pounds to run their facility or it did last year only 20% of that comes from NHS uh, funds. The rest comes from charitable uh, donations from very, very kind and generous people like you. So thank you so much, everybody, who have donated so far. We've got a Just Giving page. There it is. We've got £570 now. Unbelievable uh, amount. So thank you so, so much to everybody who's donated so far. Still got plenty of time to donate if you'd like to do so. The link to Rainbows and also to Just Giving in the uh, description with the this video we're going to be live streaming going to be doing a three hour live stream on uh saturday from 6 until 9 p.m in the evening it's going to be absolutely epic going to be trying to raise money uh during the live stream for rainbows we do miss the memory of my mum who passed away or oh, will pass away on uh saturday 27 one year ago uh, last year, so she died on 27th of May 2022, and so we did miss on 27th of May 2023 in her memory to try and get as much money as we can for rainbows. And remember, my lovely, lovely mum, the amazing uh, Mrs. P. So hopefully, you'll be around to check in to the uh, live stream. We're gonna have guests joining me, we're gonna have Jeffers uh, coming on to the live stream, Mark Boga will be coming on to the live stream as well. We're gonna have Steffi as well, Steffi Adcock. We're also gonna have Ben, lovely, lovely Ben. You're gonna be uh, joining me for a bit later on at the end of the uh, live stream too so it's going to be unbelievable it's going to be a lovely lovely night it's going to be epic and thank you so much to all those people who have agreed to come on have a chat with me and you know help break the stream up a little bit and uh, make it a little bit easier for me so thank you so much thank you so much to everybody who has donated thank you so much to all of my guests thank you so much to those still to donate and thank you so much for all of you who are going to join me on Saturday evening I appreciate not everybody's going to be around for three hours you know people will be coming and going and Matt three hours is a long 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 time here uh yeah chatting away but um you know just come and go as you want and uh, it's absolutely lovely thank you so much everybody right okay let's start the vid then thank you thank you thank you right here we go we're going to begin with central england temperature so the uh, cet has now ticked up to 12.3 which is 1.2 degrees above 6.95 average traditional to yesterday to the 23rd of May a warm than average month definitely I'm going to carry on raising over the uh, next few days as well I think these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. And we're starting off close average at the moment. The upper air temperatures will be picking up even more though as we head towards the bank holiday weekend. Dropping back maybe over the bank holiday weekend, but then lifting up very quickly as we go through the first week of June, which is looking reasonably uh, warm as well. Precipitation wise, could be loads of dry weather uh, through the rest of May. Gradually, similar precipitation might begin to come back a bit through the first week of June. 
Um, but of course, that's all XA range. It's a long way off. It doesn't look that definitive, except by the time we get to here, when there are quite a lot of precipitation spikes, then that's the 7th to the 9th of June. But bear in mind, you know, that is XA range and is therefore unreliable. Basically, reliably, in the next a week to 10 days, the weather is looking mostly set, fair, and often quite warm. Temperature anomalies from the 24th of May to 1st of June, a little bit above average in the north, a little bit below average in the south. It's not a particularly big deviation. We're hovering very close to long-term averages there. That's warm days being offset by some rather cooler nights, I think. And precipitation anomalies from the 24th of May to 1st of June, dry and average, especially so for more northern regions. The latest proof of that from EarthNoldSchool.net shows got a large area of high pressure sitting just out to our west, bringing lots of dry and fine conditions today. And that carries on into Saturday. So let me see the chart that we've got for the uh, three-hour charity live stream on Saturday 27th of May. We're going to be under high pressure, high and dry, being lots of dry and fine weather. At least I've got, not, got to worry, not got to worry about thunderstorms, have I? Knocking out <laughs> knocking out the power and that and uh, cutting off the stream. So uh, no worries there with high pressure in control for Saturday. The high pressure by Sunday begin to drift out to our west just a little bit. So it's allowed some slightly cooler air to push into northern regions. But basically, we're high and dry throughout the Bank Holiday weekend and on into next week as well under a large 1,000 and at the centre 35 millibar area of high pressure, mostly dry, fine and warm conditions continue into next week after a bit of a cool down perhaps briefly over the latter part of the Bank Holiday weekend. I can't again with high pressure in the centre city on Saturday through into Sunday and Monday. Again, that high pressure is very much ruling the roost. The high pressure remains in control of the weather right the way through to the middle of next week, centred just to our north and northwest, bringing a slightly cooler northeast wind into the south and east, perhaps, but most places under centre of that high pressure should be dry and warm up to the middle of next week. That's the 31st of May, um, last day of the month, and we're high and dry. GFS midnight run. Again, with that high pressure in domination through into Saturday, Sunday, um, Monday, back Holiday Monday, we take the high pressure just away to the northwest a little bit, allow some slightly cooler air coming around the edge of the high pressure, just starts to um, no, lower the temperature a bit from the east and from the northeast, and maybe bring some showers uh, into eastern regions um, for the early part of next week. That's a set up for Wednesday next week, last day of May. High pressure is between Scotland and Iceland, low pressure. So France. This slow trying to bring some thunder, I think, into the south, but I, I don't think it comes to much actually. And the low just gets pushed out into the Atlantic, really, by the high pressure standing its ground. So, today, Tam, uh, mostly dry and warm with winds in from an easterly direction. That low might threaten some thundery showers into the south and southwest for time, but mostly that gets pushed out into the Atlantic. Beyond that, the high pressure remains in control, this time a little bit more sense to our north. Where so we start to start we start to bring in some slightly cooler air from the northeast around the edge of the high pressure, or cooler air from the northeast around the high pressure. But basically again, high pressure ruling the roost up to the night with June. That's as far as we get to with the uh, GFS midnight number GFS 6Z again with that big area uh, area of high pressure with the country on Saturday the high pressure then inches away to our northwest and to Monday allows something a little bit cooler to around the edge of the high pressure from the east and from the northeast but still mostly dry and fine we're just looking at things to, <laughs> to, to talk about here honestly um, and beyond that the high pressure remains in the ascendancy up to day 10 by which time a jutting to the thundery low threatens some heavy thundery showers into southern parts of the country. XA range again um, just turns out a little bit more unsettled as we go through the first week of June. So this was 7th of June, a thundery low then just started to move it in from the south. By the end of the uh, GFS 6, everyone gets to the 9th of June. It's starting to have a bit of an unsettled look to it with lower pressure around the Azores and to our east as well. And some slightly cooler air beginning to move in from the north and maybe turning a bit more unsettled into the second week of June. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, subscribe, and share with everybody. Why don't you drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz, where
Gareth Well, it's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. And please tell your friends and family about Rainbows Hospice, who provide vital care for children and young people uh, with life-limiting and terminal conditions. We're raising money for Rainbows, so uh, please, if you could, give a donation uh, for them and ask your friends and family to donate to them as well. We thank you so much, everybody, uh, for uh, doing this. Right, here we go then with GM. High pressure is once more in the ascendancy on Saturday. And that high pressure remains in control right the way through to next week, sitting over the top of the coach. Eventually, the high pressure begins to inch its way up towards Greenland and uh, Iceland with the GM. We start to bring in some cooler air from the east and from the northeast as the high pressure becomes like a blocking feature around Greenland. It starts to become a normal blocking feature. And we start to drag in cooler air from the east and from the northeast. Maybe a few showers coming into the northeast with that as well. That gets us to the 3rd of June. And then the east. GM once more rounding it all off with that bridge of high pressure through the coach on Saturday. Lots of dry and fine weather with that into the rest of the back holiday weekend. Mostly dry, fine, high and dry uh, all the way into the uh, last stages of next week. By day 10, just to hint that the high pressure is starting to go into retrograde, beginning to move towards Greenland and Iceland, possibly hinting at starting to bring in some cooler air from the northeast and maybe a few showers as well. Notice uh, pressure is lowering over the continent. Could that be started? Starting to him being a little bit more unsettled further on into June. We'll have to wait and see, I think. This is my precipitation forecast based on that. Uh, ECM run from tomatoshow.com. We'll get through this very quickly because there's not going to be much precipitation. See, a few showers coming in, going up here and there, but no, nothing much really until we get to the very end. And by day 10, just hint of some thunderstorms into the far south and uh, south beach. That would be welcome rain by then, I think. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 3rd of June from the Icelandic Met Office. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with above average heights, high pressure to our west and northwest. And around that, we bring the wind in from we bring the wind in from a uh, bit of a northeasterly or easterly direction, possibly a few thundery showers coming into the south. But is, uh, the operation run is very well supported, you know, by the um, ensembles, given that all members of the East Ensembles are doing that at, uh, at uh, day 10. Doing that. Uh, right, and in the two, I'm so sorry, buddy. In two weeks' time, which gets us to the 8th of June, again, we've got 51 out of 51 members of the ECM on side taking the high pressure even further to the north and the northwest. That's starting to become a Greenland blocking feature, lowering the heights both to the northeast and to the south. So there could be a bit of a pincer movement going on there with unsettled weather to the northeast and also from the south. So maybe that's starting to break things down. And uh, turn more unsettled. We would have to wait and see about that. Well, lastly, CFS B2 is a 500 millibar height and knowledge broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take from the 24th to the 30th of May. The coming week is dominated by high pressure sitting over the top of the country. Week uh, 2. We're going to be the 31st of May to 6th of June with the high pressure, the above average heights away to the northwest, lower pressure to our um, east and also to our south as well. We could be bringing in some quite slightly cooler air from the northeast with that still mostly dry up to that point. But this is a change. Look at week three, <laughs> which gets us to the 7th to the 13th of June. The high pressure now has gone into retrograde and has moved into the North Atlantic and Greenland with low pressure below average heights across the north and the west of Europe. That is a lot cooler. Winds are coming in from the northeast and it is also much more unsettled as well. What happens when we get to week Four, let's see, this is going to be the 14th to the 20th of June, high pressure blocking away to the north and low pressure to the south and to the southwest. That low pressure probably brings quite warm air in from the south and from the southwest, but could bring uh, spells of rain and showers as well. So definite hints of a change there from the uh, CFS today. First time we've seen that. For several several days, probably a couple of weeks, uh, that um, in trying to bring back low pressure, albeit not doing it until week three and four. So at the moment, I wouldn't take it overly seriously, but it is a hint. 
Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worth. It's awesome to subscribe as well. It is amazing and it's incredible. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Make sure you check out Rainbow's Hospice, providing vital care for children and also young people suffering from life-limiting and terminal conditions. And if you could, please check out our Just Giving page. Maybe give a donation to Rainbow's in memory of my lovely mum, Mrs P, who passed away on the 27th of May, 2022. And uh, we will be live streaming for Rainbows and for my mum on Saturday, this coming Saturday between 6 and 9 pm, charity live stream. Probably be the last one that I'm going to do. So it's going to be a one off, unique, epic experience. And I hope I see you all there. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So uh, we're going to have 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, have a European outlook, and there'll be a 10 to 14 there as well. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. But uh, for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.